from Hollywood. The Jack Benny Program. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. For some time now, Jack Benny has promised to take the Beverly Hills Beavers to a carnival. And tonight, he's finally decided to do it. So let's go out to a carnival near Beverly Hills. Here we are, kids. Will we go on the Ferris wheel? And the roller coaster? And the merry-go-round? We're going to go on everything and have a lot of fun, but I don't want you to get lost. Oh, we won't. We'll all stay close together. Oh, Bobby. Bobby, you know, you're a new member of the Beavers Club, and you haven't got a badge, so I'm going to pin mine on you. Clara, look. Land sakes alive, it's Jack Benny. Yeah, I recognize him as soon as I saw him. Oh, Malcolm, our friends back home won't believe we actually saw Jack Benny. I can hardly believe it myself. Let's go and ask him for his autograph. Now, you can each get whatever you like. Uh, I beg your pardon. Uh, just a minute, please. Now, uh, here's 50 cents for you, and 50 cents for you, and 50 cents for you, and 50 cents for you. Yes, sir. Uh, oh, I'm awfully sorry. We thought you were someone else. <laughs> Where were we? You got his feet 50 cents. He didn't give it to us. He loaned it to us. Remember? That's why we signed those papers on the bus. Yeah, come on, let's go. Now, now what do we do first? Hi there. Can we have some balloons? Get your balloons. Can we have some balloons? Here you are, honey. Now, now, Stevie, you're supposed to hold on to the string real tight. Hey, mister, give the balloons to me, will you? Five of them. Yes, sir. One, two, three, four, five. I'd better give you six, just in case you lose one. Hot dogs, please. Five puppies coming up. <laughs> when we stop in. Mr. Kitzo. Well, it's certainly a surprise seeing you here. Likewise. Who are these boys, your relations? No, no, these are members of my Beverly Hills Beavers. See, and I get a great kick out of taking them places and going to their meetings. I know what you mean. Tonight I'm taking my son to his scout meeting. Oh, your son a Boy Scout? Yes, he a Boy Scout. Last night while I was sleeping, he put splints on my legs. Oh, well, that, that's cute. Cute, he says. The telephone rang. I jumped out of bed and fell flat on my face. You know, boys will be boys. Yes, but for how long? He's 27 already. <laughs> Kitzel, you're joking. <laughs> Listen, is this is this your hot dog stand? Oh no, 
I'm only working for the amusement park. I'm a utility man. Uh, when I'm not doing this, I'm doing something else. Oh, I see. Well, how about our hot dogs? Coming up. <laughs> Tickle in the middle with the mustard on top. Just the way you like them and they're all red hot. There you are. All right, step right up, folks. Knock over the bottles and win a prize. Three ball. Hey, mister, three balls for ten cents. Win the kids a prize. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, 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 not this. Yeah, come on. Do we get anything if he throws the ball and misses? Misses? Are you kidding? Mr. Benny, tell her about the time you pitched for the New York Yankees. <laughs> Mr. Benny, did you play in the World Series? Well. <laughs> that year he had to go to Europe for the Olympic Games. <laughs> Mr. Benny won the 100-yard dash, the broad jump, the high jump, and the pole vault. And he did all that one hour after he swam the English Channel. <laughs> Let's go, huh? <laughs> hey, uh, mister, come here. Look, uh, the kids want you to win them a prize, so I'm gonna give you a break. Instead of knocking over all the bottles to win, I'm gonna give you a prize for each one you knock down. Hey, huh? Go ahead. No, I don't... Oh, like I don't Maybe Look. you're still tired from swimming the channel. <laughs> muscle, I'm tired from rehearsing my television show. Television show? Oh, Superman! Oh, Tell me, how do you fly through the air? You can fly balloons and then... Never you... mind. <laughs> now look, kids. If I throw this ball, I'll win all the prizes and put that poor man out of business. So let's go on the merry-go-round and stay. Merry-go-round! Hey, mister, you still got my baseball! Well, all right, what about the prizes? Huh? I knocked over six bottles, and I'll give us a six prizes. But you weren't even playing. You just threw the ball over your shoulder. Well, certainly, I did it the hard way. <laughs> Come on, kids, let's get the fun. Tickets. Get your tickets for the merry-go-round. Mr. Kitzel, what are you doing here? Like I told you, I'm helping out every place. When I'm not selling hot dogs, I'm running the Ferris wheel, barking for the sideshow. Sometimes they shoot me out of a cannon. Shoot you out of a cannon? Well, isn't that dangerous? Only on the way back. I have to use the freeway. <laughs> See what you mean. Yeah. Uh, give us five tickets, will you? Five Mr. tickets. Kitzel, Here you are. There you are. Oh, Mr. Kitzel, would you mind holding our prizes that yeah, we won pleasure, until we pleasure. leave the park? There you are. I was very lucky. Uh, yeah. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, Come on, are. kids. On the merry-go-round. And remember, if you grab the brass ring, you get a free ride. Oh, oh a free ride. Free. Oh, great. Oh, great. great. What do you want to do now? You want to go on the Ferris wheel or the roller coaster? Here we are. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hey, hold it. This way, folks. 
Yes, step this way. Mr. Ketzel. I told you I'm doing everything here. <laughs> yes, folks, step right this way and see the world's greatest daredevil trapeze act. Come on out, gentlemen. Watch them swing 200 feet to the air without a net. The outstanding, the world famous, five flying Finnegan. Mr. Kitzel. Yes? You said five. There are only four of them. It happened last night. We haven't had time to change the name. <laughs> but don't let me tell you about their act. Let them tell you themselves. The Flying Finnegan. We work in the circus. We work at the fair. We work from a platform high up in the air. We know there's no net, so we're careful up there. We don't like the sound when we fall. Lloyds of London would only insure us if we paid them exorbitant fees. So we've saved all our cash. We are obviously rash. We're the man on the flying trapeze. Oh, we fly through the air with the greatest of these. For daring young men on one flying trapeze. They say we look sharp in our long BBBs. They're tailored by Christian Dior. <laughs> Many tricks, everyone is a test. But the one where we hang by his teeth, we thought best. We thought it was great until he confessed that the teeth we were trusting were false. <laughs> we're the head of the show, so they tell us. In the cities and out in the sticks, every act in the circus is jealous of us. Even the monkeys are copying our tricks. Oh, we fly through the air with the greatest of these. We're graceful as birds flying up in the trees. In fact, when the season for hunting comes round, we just have to stay on the ground. some fun with this fella here. Come here. Oh, uh, mister. Mister. Yeah. He wants you to guess his age. Well, this should be interesting. Uh, let's see. Uh, father of four children. No, no, I'm not their father. These are beavers. Uh, beavers, gophers, you could still be their father. <laughs> Just guess my age. And give us the prize. Only if I miss. Say, you're Jack Benny, aren't you? Yes, yes. Your age, your age. Hmm. Hey, do you mind if I check your physical condition? Oh, no, no, not at all. <laughs> Is that your muscle, or are you still plugging jello? <laughs> Never mind the jokes. Just guess my age. Well, you haven't paid me yet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thank you. You're 39. Yeah. Say, uh, what made you say I was 39? Well, I've got your quarter. Let's both be happy. <laughs> round and round she goes, and I think we have a winner here in just a second. And it's number six. The lady wins a beautiful giant panda doll. Number six. It's only a nine, folks. Step right this way. Here's it's only a nine. Look at the big panda. A tenth yeah, part of a dollar. Step dollar. right this way, folks. Try your luck, mister. Take a chance. Win a beautiful panda yeah, doll. Come on, it's Mr. Benny. Win us a panda. Yeah, win us a all panda. All right, all right. I'll try number two. Of a two. And round and round she goes. And where she stops, nobody knows. Hey, a two. I win. <laughs> All right, step right this 
It's only a dime. It's only ten cents. All right, I'll... I'll take number seven this number time. Number seven. All right, and round and round she goes. And where she stops, nobody knows. The lucky number... Seven! I... <laughs> Anybody else here step right this way, folks? Come on, Mr. Petty. Step right up. The winner's new book and a dollar. It's only nine, ten cents. The tenth part of a dollar. I got an idea. All right, I'll take all ten numbers. All ten You'll win that dollar. Very good. There. All right. Round and round she goes, and where she stops, nobody knows. All right, pay off. I had every number from one to ten. Right, folks, step right up in Chicago, the most ferocious gorilla in captivity. Hey, that's the close, folks. Look at a mean-looking beast. that I heard. What was that? Sound effect. <laughs> well, what do you know? You certainly could have fooled me. Gago! Excuse me, my trainer is calling me. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Kitsa. Goodbye, Mr. Kitsa. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm not supposed to fool with it. When I pull that lever, it loosens the spring. Well, look at uh, when I go to hit it, would you pull the lever? I told you I'm not allowed to. Give me a dollar. A dollar? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hurry, hurry, right this way, friends. Ring the bell and win a prize. Hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> Pull that lever till I hit it. I didn't touch it. You mean to say it's that easy that little guy could hit it like that? Give me my dollar back. Oh, we made a deal. Give me that dollar back or I'll report you. <laughs> <laughs> hurry, hurry, right this way, friends. Ring the bell and win a prize. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Ring the bell and win a prize. <laughs> Two bucks. It was only a dollar before. It's two bucks now. Take it or leave it. Hurry, hurry, friends. Ring the bell and win a prize. Hurry, friends. Right this way. Ring the bell and win a prize. All right. 
Where's the other guy? Went out to lunch. All right, folks. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Did he say something about pulling the lever? What lever? Well, what did he say before he went to lunch? He said he was hungry. Hurry up. The people are waiting their turn. Come on, let's go. All right, folks. Hurry, 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 hurry. Ring the bell and win a prize. I bet you my bean shooter doesn't hit the bell. It's a bet. Come on, Mr. Benny. Hit it. before you now. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, to prove that our trainer takes his life in his hands every time he enters that cage, we make this bona fide offer. Yes, sir, I'll give anybody $50 in cash to step into that cage and face the nemesis of the jungle, the king of beasts. Those sound effects. That kitzel is terrific. Nothing, nothing. Oh, uh... What about you, mister? Are you brave enough to step into that cage? <laughs> Am I brave enough? <laughs> Look, mister, I'm no more scared of that lion and I was at that gorilla back there. But look, mister, that's the meanest lion we ever had in California. Oh, it is, eh? Hey, stand aside. <laughs> hey, kids. Should I make him roll over or do a somersault? Sit up. Make him roll over. Mr. Benny, make him do a somersault. <laughs> yeah, I... So let's pick up our prizes and go home. Huh? Ready, Jim? Well, did you have a good time? Yeah, you yeah, had yeah, yeah. a wonderful time. Well, then all right, then let's go. What you see here is but a sample of what you will see on the inside. Now, don't crowd, boys. See, Mr. Benny, can we see that? No, no, that, that's not for kids. It's all right, Mr. Benny, it's only me. 